Let's try see how fast can we enter right now. So we're going to do futuristic. And notice as I'm typing, it's already rendering futuristic spaceship while painting. Did you notice how fast is as I'm typing? It's because we're using the new um, Turbo SDXL. It's what call. Actually, this is adversal diffusion uh, distillation. It's a specific new how train model was developed. Um, relatively, it's actually not total new, but it's new with a clip installed in the game inside. So it's creating excellent models on the fly. And what I was meaning on the fly, we have this SDL XL Turbo and it's creating 512 by 512. So it's creating actually quite big size. And again, if you notice right here, it does literally on the fly. Okay, we're going space bottle and we can do all of these anything. For example, let's go ahead. Um, cute puppy there you go instantly you can notice how it's work very well as train model so let's go ahead and see how you can install this and as example we will be running this on the this on a comfy ui as well in automatic 11 11 on stable diffusion so we look how to install on both of those platform and it's surprisingly very very easy to do this if you're not familiar with comfy ui please watch my other videos how to install and you can install directly comfy ui or you can use other ones like matrix ui uh, matrix ai or matrix stable diffusion sorry i don't even remember matrix stable diffusion to install it so it's very very easy to do okay let's start it first if you uh geek out about ai like i do I would recommend to check this papers that was published about what is using its adversal diffusion installations. So it's kind of like teacher student and you can go over with a very nice explanations how the algorithm work, what they've done, how the model was trained in this case and uh, what result can provide it as well how they all work machine i know it's going sometimes in numbers it's why i say if you geek out on this you can look on this and also in this papers you'll notice it's have some limitations this models primarily it is limitation on training so what can do in realism because it's going so fast but it is incredible step forward in this technology so this is the first things and links will be that provide down below for you in descriptions next what you want to do you want to download this model this is very important it's sdl excel turbo 1.0 fp16 safe sensor the model and this is a 6.94 gigabyte so about 7 gigabyte downloaded and the same model will work for comfy ui and stable diffusion you want to take this model and place inside your um, stable diffusion web ui models and you want to go to stable diffusion folder for the models and just put here i already have a little bit too much of the models inside of this and that's it Next, what you want to do is run your installation and automatic 11.11 right now. Select the SDL, the properly model in the top drop down box. Next, in generation, and this is quite a bit important because it's how model was trained. So for the best result, you want to do this. Sampling step one. And this is what makes it so fast because usually you may have it 50, 70 sampling meters. So it can go over it in and over to create it. In this case, just one sampling method. So it's just only run once, which is incredible how it's work. So we have it one. We want to have it width and height, 512 by 512. It what was training on size. Euler A, our sampling method, and CFG scale, we want to set to one. And that's all. Next, what do you want to do? Just go ahead, type prompt. For example, let's go um, type bird cute bear or whatever you want it generate and there you go you can see how fast it is we can also for example let's say batch will set to maybe let's go 10 10 and 10 or 12 12 images let's go ahead and do this click generate and you can see how fast it's generating 12 images again it's a 
512 by 512. So this is incredible. Of course, if we look here, you can see it's very fast generating them on our server. And right here we have it all or our these images that we just generated. I think it's incredible. So it's very easy to do with this. Uh, next, if you want to use the with a comp UI, it's um, you need to perform a couple steps. Okay, one, we want to be sure our comp UI, it's have properly model installed, same as Turbo. What I done in comp UI folder, I just specify, for example, went to comp UI portable comp UI, found my extra model path, it is specify additional path instead downloading this model and you know copy and everything i went the example renamed to yaml and inside all what you need to do is just go right here where it says base path spitspy specify path for the stable diffusion web ui it's where my models located so i just leave it everything just modify only this path and save it so in this case the um my comfy ui we will share same models as i'm using with optimatic 1111 the next what we want to do is downloading the um, node manager right here and this is a custom node i'll show you in a second how it downloaded but what it does it's allowed us to install missing custom nodes just in case if you're using and you don't have them for this going to your comfy ui folder going to the custom nodes click on this Notice I already have it my installed, but you can do the same things just on the top in your file manager. Go on top right here, type CMD or command manager. So it will open for us right here, command manager. Next, what we want to do, it is go and type git clone HTTP. Again, the command will be down below for you, so you don't need to worry about this. Type this and it's take the repository and put it inside that folder. If everything's successful inside a custom folder, you should see now Comfy UI Manager. After this installation, you do need to install, re, rerun, <laughs> relaunch your Comfy UI. Of course, if you don't have all these nodes, you want to install. And the easy way to do it's use it with a reference inside the image or a JSON file. I will provide link down below. And it's special thanks to StableDiffusionR.com for providing additional knowledge and information and link will be to the json file all what you need to do just grab drag and drop and you will have this node settings inside your ui you will see this in appear the schematic if some of these nodes will be most likely like this one will be red for you it's mean node not found then you want to go inside the manager and inside the manager, click on install missing custom nodes. All what it does, it's come up right here showing you if you're missing any nodes and you just go ahead and click install and that should appear. If they all successfully downloaded in your machine, you should see them appear inside here um, if needed. Again, I just recommend I use this all the time, those nodes and they also you'll see them appear if they're missing inside your custom nodes subfolder around here. Now you can use your installation of Comfy UI. And for this one, just go ahead and type like cute puppy. And let's go ahead, press when prompt. And you can see it's almost instantaneously rendered. Of course, the speed of rendering will be depend on what video card you're using i'm currently running on rtx 3090 with uh, i think 24 gigabyte ram so if you have a little bit slower card this may be a little bit slower but generally it's run very fast and one other things the comfy ui can do that you cannot do with the uh, automatic 1111 yet it is real-time rendering and what i was meaning by this if we're going to connect kind of size right here click on extra options we want to go down below in enable after corner so this is will be monitoring for our prompt to launch we need press start queue and you'll notice in our the terminal we can see right here it's constantly watching for the keyboard so let's go ahead and start type and i'm going to raise and says for example um border 
Kali dancing in the rain. And I notice as I'm typing how it's changed very fast. So it's kind of very cool. And you can do, for example, um, futuristic spaceship. Well, painting. You can see how it is creating on a fly very fast as you're typing and rendering so fast. Remember, it is will depend on your video card, but general I find it's work extremely well. Okay, and this is how simple you can install in Aftermatic 11, 11 in Stable Diffusion. You can use it as DXL. Just be sure keep it the sampling steps, the um, sampling method, and CFG to the properly settings. You can play around with them, see what is happening, what the result will be. And as well in Comfy UI allowed you a lot of flexibility and a real time render almost as you're typing so you can preview this. Well, if you like it, be sure you subscribe, like and share. I'm going to actually experiment with this to create animations, see how well it will perform. So be sure stay here to watch those videos when we're going to explore more with this new fast model because it will change in a way you can process videos. Well, thank you again. Have a great day and have fun creating. Bye.